when it's documentary, just like PBS, because we're not putting this out, you know, cussing out just so we can play cussing. We're, we're documenting like in a court what's going on. But nevertheless, we're going to bleep it out. Uh, video viewers, uh, people watching our streams, audio and video, you'll actually see the unfiltered. Uh, but uh, th this is uh, the police in Oklahoma pulling over the ambulance that has a woman in the back having a heart attack and the family's following the ambulance. They get out and start videotaping. Here it is. I'm talking to the driver. No, no, I'm talking to you. I'm the no, mayor. You better get back in that ambulance. I'm talking to the driver. I'm in charge of this unit, sir. Okay. My name is Maurice White. I'm a critical right. care paramedic. I'm going to give you a ticket for failure to yield. And when I go by you saying what's going on, you don't need to give me no hand gestures now. I ain't going to put up with that shit. You understand me? And I won't put up with you talking to my driver like that. I ain't sir. listening to you, buddy. You get your ass back in that ambulance or I'll take you in. I'm talking to the okay, driver. And if you would. Come over I'm here, Paul. No. no, we got a patient in this unit right now. Okay, you want to go ahead and pull over to the side of the road when there's an emergency vehicle behind you? I didn't know you were in the road, Gary. No, I no, wasn't. You ran up on us too quickly. I did not run up on you quickly, buddy. Yes, you did. You I better get, get back in that ambulance before you get your bus to jail now. You understand me? We're going to get my face to the hospital. You can take me to jail. We'll discuss this. It goes on for 15 minutes, and, and by the way, they, they got into town by the time they, he pulled him over, because the cop couldn't pull him over. It's a country road, two lane, and they're getting into town, and then he pulls him over there. And, and, and so that's why there's now a shoulder there, and, and then it goes on and on, more show up, and he's like, this is crazy. We got to get this woman to the hospital. And they're like, no, we're going to make a big scene out of this. Failure to yield to an emergency vehicle. You're, you're pulling over an emergency vehicle. See, it, it, it's, it's a government agency out of control trying to tell other groups, trying to save people's lives, firefighters and paramedics, what to do. It's out of control. There's not even professional courtesy going on here. And by the way, he's mad at them about, quote, hand gestures. You can see it on the full squad car video that's 20-something minutes long where you see the arm out the window going, come on around us, man. Then the ambulance tries to get over, starts running into the grass. To let him by. He doesn't go by. It's all about he's got a point to prove. And he's going to show them. And then more show up. Can you fast forward when they start choking him? I mean, it is just simply amazing. And, and I'm only bringing this up to just talk about government mentality. Here it is. Yeah, let's go back to it. Let's take my wife to the hospital. Let's get on. Let's take my wife to the hospital. Now they're getting ready to put the woman in a car to get her to the hospital, but that's not good enough. This is crazy. Now again, this is all the squad car video. You're not running code. There's the there's the family that shot video and the choking starts. Sir, I'm gonna ask you to step back, okay? Hey, this Thank is you. My wife. She needs to be at the hospital. She wouldn't be in this. If he wouldn't have come out here started, we could have been on the road about five minutes ago, partner. Now step back. I'm sorry to see coming in front of me. Look, my mother over here talking about it. The father and the mother was having a hard time. I didn't need your manager, whoever it is in the back, and the paramedic, whoever happens to be in charge, to get out and start obstructing. Okay? Do you understand? He's going to jail. Yeah. You don't jump out and talk to a state trooper like that. You understand me? I don't care who you are. You're not running code. You're not running emergency. Okay? All right. I didn't just get up behind you and tailgate you and turn on my red lights and siren. I've been going hot over here to help the county out. You understand? Yes, sir, I do. So he's saying yes, sir. All of it means nothing, and then more come and they start choking him. And 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 literally, it's like you've joined the Marine Corps. They're wearing Marine Corps drill sergeant hats, and it just goes on and on. And then they're going to scream at you like you signed up for boot camp. I mean, it, 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 it is so ridiculous. Now they're like looking for something in the ambulance to go after people for. Now, here's where the choking starts. Go ahead. Yeah, here's the police jumping on the paramedic now and choking him. All right, that's enough. We, we've got the cell phone footage up on InfoWars.com in the article where you can see it where the family shot it from 10 feet back where they're choking him and saying, don't resist. I mean, it's just a complete joke. It's a bunch of, because by the way, the trooper was scared of the big guy who was bigger than him when he was by himself. So when four more troopers show up, then they start choking him. I mean, it is just the height of cowardice, the height of weakness.
And I, I mean, I, I just thank God this stuff has never happened to me because there's, I, I literally flip out when a bunch of bullies are there starting a fight with you and saying that you're the one causing the problem. Look at him choking this guy. And the guy's being totally calm. The, the state police just wish, just wish that, that he would fight back so they could kill him. But you know what? The public all saw this. Look at this. <laughs> I mean, talk about cowardice right there. This guy really wants to dominate the paramedic who wants to take the woman having a heart attack to the hospital. I mean, what a punk. What a disgrace. What a piece of crap. What a coward. What a coward. I bet he wouldn't get in a boxing ring with that guy. Clean water at home, clean water at the office, clean water on the go. The Berkey guy has a Berkey water filtration model for anywhere you are and one that fits any budget. Thousands of satisfied customers can't be wrong. For free shipping within the U.S., go to GoBerkey.com or call 877-886-3653. That's 877-886-3653. Helping thousands prepare since 2005, GoBerkey.com. Nobel Prize winner Alexis Carroll, cell biology researcher, discovered a detoxified and nourished cell lives in a state of eternal youth. Clean cells will result in improved energy, mood, blood sugar, liver function, and skin health. Also, you can lose fat and keep or gain muscle and reduce or eliminate inflammation and more. To discover how to detoxify and nourish the 100 trillion cells of your body, call this free recorded message at 866-844-1047. That's 866-844-1047. To thank you for being a loyal listener, we have a limited time freebie offer for you. Claim your free heirloom tomato seeds, just pay shipping, right now at 123freeseeds.com. These aren't ordinary seeds. These are heirloom, non-genetically modified super seeds that are open pollinated and can be grown, harvested, and replanted endlessly. These survival seeds are actually more valuable than gold in a crisis. Go to 123freeseeds.com and you can get an airtight storage packet of 150 super seeds free while supplies last to say thank you for being a loyal listener. First come, first served. Just cover shipping. Go to 123freeseeds.com now to see if your free heirloom seeds are still available. That's 123freeseeds.com. Introducing Pro One. All of your filtration in one system, portable, on the go. No more do you have two or three filters to just reduce sodium fluoride. You have a system that cuts out the sodium fluoride and up to 95% of hydrofluorosilicic acid. Advanced manufacturing technology combines silver impregnated white ceramic with new Aquamedics advanced media for removal of fluoride and other heavy metals all in one filter element. It is the only one that does it and out of the gate, we have it discounted at 10% off with promo code WATER. This is the only system that in one unit helps reduce or remove pesticides, herbicides, chloramines, ammonia, and chlorine, hydrofluorosilicic acid, the most common form of fluoride not covered by other fluoride filter brands, and sodium hexafluorosilicate. Get your Pro Pure with the new Pro One filter today at InfoWarsStore.com or by calling 888-253-3139. force are out there battling paramedics, firefighters, and riding old ladies' tickets. Now they're becoming federalized under Obama and trying to take on the Tea Party. Stand behind them. Stand against George Washington. Stand against the Bill of Rights and Constitution. Stand with the New World Order. We're here to help. Being a little bit sarcastic. Again, I want to be statistically accurate here for everybody. The most awake group is the military. That's because they are in the real world. They know what's really going on. They're not stupid. The next most awake group is police officers. On average, police officers are some of the best people I run into, some of the best people I know. It's a really hard job. 
but they are trying to warp them and turn them into mindless enforcers so that they will follow any order. It's like zero tolerance where a kid has a cupcake that looks like a gun. You know, the icing looks like a gun, so you're kicked out of school. Or you bring a Lego gun that's a half inch long, you know, for your Lego toy, or it's in your lunchbox and the police come. It's all about just mindlessness. Or the neighbors, you know, you're shooting a gun on your 200 acre ranchette and the neighbor doesn't like it and calls the police and they still come out and still arrest you. That happens in Texas all the time. Well, they felt threatened hearing the gunshots. Sorry, you're going to jail. That is happening all the time. And that's why they have, quote, zero tolerance is so that the police have no discretion. And then they can have whatever federal edict they want rolled down to the local department with federal grants. And now the police are robots. There's a war on the press everywhere. There's a war on people filming in public. And we're sick of it. It's like the NSA in San Antonio or in Salt Lake City with my reporters going, what are you doing filming the facility? Well, we're here to draw attention to it and cover it. We're with InfoWars.com. Yeah, we know who you are. What are, you can't film us. Oh, really? You can steal all my data publicly and get caught and not get in trouble? But, but we're not supposed to aim a camera at your front gate? Well, you could be a terrorist. Oh, you mean like the terrorist the government publicly runs? It's all a hoax. It's all a power grab. It's all a Rand Corporation plan. Go read the Civilian Inmate Labor Camp Program. Go read the Emergency Centers Establishment Act. Go read the National Police Stabilization Force. Go read it. Go read it. Go read it. Go read it. Go read how they put the poison in the water to brain damage you by the White House Science R, Cass Sunstein. Just type in White House Science R, poison in the water. It'll be his book. He's proud of it. He told you what he's doing. That's why I get so angry and frustrated. I know the plan. I know I'm right. I know where we're going. And they're using the American people's goodwill to sell this evil. By the way, I'm going to start the next hour, cover a bunch of news, economic news, world news, the good news, the bad news, the ugly news. I didn't mean to go off on a jag about <coughs> arresting firefighters. It's, it's, just, it's just total insanity. Um, and, and, and them choking that 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 paramedic and then telling him not to resist as he's just going, come on, man. All because he dared to go, come on, let us get on down the road. Woman's having a heart attack. You respect my authority, boy. That's crazy land. Now, I'm going to stop right there and just remind you that we're listeners supported and your support is so needed. And we plus sell the best products. The Pro One Pro Pure has a 2.0 out, cuts out the glyphosate, the fluoride, annihilates the competition. It's the best you can get, period. Not best you can get for the price. Best you can get, period, at a very affordable price that also beats leading competitors. InfoWarsStore.com for the Pro One Systems. InfoWarsLife.com for our proprietary supplements, the incredible nascent iodine that's done so much for myself and my family. And just so, oh, it's just it's, it's invigorating. I can work twice as hard on this stuff. It's amazing. And we've got the Super Mill Vitality, the Fluoride Shield, all available at InfoWarsLife.com. There's videos that break it down there as well. Stay with us. Thank you for listening to GCN. Visit GCNlive.com today. In the last 50 years, iodine has been phased out of our staple foods and replaced with the halogen bromine, a practice now banned in nations around the world. Guess what else is in the halogen family? Fluoride. Ladies and gentlemen, Alex Jones here. In 1924, the federal government did the right thing and encouraged salt producers to add iodine. It's the good halogen on the periodic table. And the results are on record, reports documented, a 15-point IQ increase in areas that had previously been deficient in iodine. Bottom line, iodine is important. Unbound, clean, in a glycerin base, nascent iodine was the answer for myself and my family. You will find Survival Shield nascent iodine exclusively at InfoWarsLife.com. InfoWars Life Survival Shield nascent iodine isn't just for emergencies. I take it every day. That's InfoWarsLife.com or call toll-free 888-253-3139. Waging war on corruption. Alex Jones on the GCM Radio Network. Big Brother. Mainstream media. Government cover-ups. 
You want answers? Well, so does he. He's Alex Jones.